Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Acer Aspire R11 convertible notebook with an 11.6 inch display. You can flip the screen all the way around, use it like a tablet, and it has a starting price of about $330 for a model with a Celeron dual core processor. This version uh, sells for about $400, it was loaned to me by Acer for testing purposes. It has a quad core Pentium N3700 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 500 gigabytes of storage. But what if you want to upgrade that? The chipset will support up to 8GB of RAM, and it's actually pretty easy to open up the case and get at it. Um, I've already done a lot of the hard work here, but let me just show you how you do that. Uh, there's a number of spots here on the bottom that you just unscrew, and once you unscrew them, you might notice that they sort of get stuck in the holes, because these holes are pretty deep. You can use a pair of tweezers, a magnetic screwdriver, or uh, some other impl implement to uh, get them out. And so I've already done that here. And then you just sort of feel around the sides of the case with either a, an opening tool of some sort or even just your uh, fingernails might be able to do the trick until you can open the case. Once you do that, you'll notice that there's actually a little reset pin here that uh, you can press to reset and also uh, another little button that prevents the computer from turning on when the screen is off. Uh, looking inside the case, you'll notice that the uh, battery is up here, the hard drive's over here. Where's the memory? It's actually hiding right there. So we've got a single memory card slot there. It's got four gigabytes, but we could go ahead and just pop that out and pop in an eight gigabyte stick if we wanted to. Make sure that closes up properly and then just place that right back on. You can do it in either direction, but there are sort of little clips in here that hold it into place. So you're gonna make sure that's lined up properly so it doesn't move. Now the, the hard drive is a two and a half inch hard drive. It's hiding under some mylar here and there's a little ribbon. So I'm not gonna, uh, since this is a demo unit, I'm not gonna try opening that up and getting at it, but you would need to remove uh, one or both of those in order to get at that spot. But if you wanted to put in a solid state drive or a hard drive with higher capacity, that's how you do it. Then when you're done, just put this back on. Make sure everything snaps into place. Put the screws back in and flip it over and turn it back on. So that's how you upgrade the memory on the Acer Aspire R11 and uh, also a quick look at what's, uh, what's underneath the case.